Hello everybody! Welcome back to art class! It was really great meeting you all yesterday on Zoom and I'm happy that I got to see your faces and got to learn a little bit about each of you. So today we're going to start with your first assignment in art along with your daily attendance sketches that you should be doing and handing in on Google Classroom. Today we're going to start with contour line drawing, practicing our observational drawing skills. So I'm going to talk to you about how to find different objects around your house that you can use to draw, a little bit about different pencils, and what a contour line drawing is. So to start with pencils, I have a wooden pencil and a mechanical pencil here. I prefer to use the wooden pencil because I can get varying degrees of pressure and line quality more easily with my wooden pencil than with my mechanical pencil. The mechanical pencil is a thin piece of lead and your, and your wooden pencil is more of a triangle shape so you can get a thin line when using the tip of your pencil or a more wide mark when you turn your pencil to the side. It's much harder to do that with your mechanical pencil, so you can use mechanical if that's all you have, but I would prefer you to use a wooden pencil. So to start to define what a contour line drawing is, a contour line drawing is a line drawing that defines the edges and surface ridges of objects and figures. So a contour line drawing does not use shading. Um, it shows interior and exterior lines of an object and it uses our observational skills. So key in drawing is using observational skills. What do we mean by observational skills? It means looking very carefully at objects and using your pencil to slowly do an error outline of the object to really understand the edges and crevices of the object Drawing is really about seeing, so if you take the time and really look and see what object you're drawing, it will help you very much in your drawing. So I'm going to talk to you now about different objects that you can choose. You know, you can choose any object that you have in your house. You can choose um, water bottles, you can choose action figures or anything that's really interesting. I've chosen these objects here behind me because they stand up and I don't have to hold them up, and this helps me put them at a little bit of a distance when I'm drawing. They're not right in front of me like this. I can hold it up, or I can set it down and put it a little bit far behind or back away from me, which is ideally where you want your object to be when you're doing your contour line drawing. You don't want it to be right here. You want to have a little bit of distance on your objects. So I've included this object here. This is Clorox Wipes cylinder object. It's an okay object to draw, but for this particular drawing assignment, I think it's a little bit too simple of an outline, and I'd like you to choose a little bit more complex object. So this dish or laundry detergent is a little bit more complex outline got this handle here, some interesting edges happening, and then some interior lines that you could draw. This cleaner spray has really interesting outline here that you could draw. This water bottle would be a good example of an object to draw. I've included some glass objects that can be really interesting to draw as well. With glass, you should be careful not to get overwhelmed. Glass reflections can be really intimidating to start drawing. And for our contour line drawing, you don't need to draw the reflections. You're merely drawing the lines of the glass object. So I'm going to show you my example of a contour line drawing. And I did that glass object that I just showed you. And notice that I did an outline of the object, and I also included interior lines 
that define the shape as well. I didn't just do a silhouette, I included interior details on my drawing as well. And that's what I want you to do. So to do that, set your object about that far, about a foot away from you, and then look very carefully at your object. Your eyes should be moving along the edges of the object simultaneously while your pencil is doing the same thing. And that's how you do a contour line drawing. So now you can erase if you think that you've messed up a line or if it doesn't look quite right, but don't get frustrated. Um, it takes practice. And again, this is my line drawing, contour line drawing. So I want you to put your name and date on this. And I want you to do three of these drawings for your art assignment today. And for your attendance sketch, I want you to remember to also upload those attendance sketches. Your attend attendance sketch should be either an observational drawing or a drawing of your choice. So you can do anything for your attendance sketch, as long as you take at least five minutes to complete that. These contour line drawings should take you probably about 10 minutes each to do. This took me probably um, 10 minutes because your line is moving really slow. We're not rushing through this drawing. It's a slow moving line and your eye is slowly moving the out along, slowly moving along the outline of the object simultaneously while your pencil is doing the same thing. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments, you can leave a comment in this video or you can email me. Okay, well, have fun and enjoy your first drawing assignment. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye.